Here we have two waves, X and Y. Wave X has frequency F, amplitude A. Um, maybe I wanna label a little bit. Where is X? Ah? Too many things happening. X, okay, X is there. Frequency F and amplitude A. So A, I can consider it to be this height right here. Okay, frequency. I may have to measure from time period. Okay. <laughs> So this will be T, time period, because this is the axis of time. So time I will use to calculate frequency, which is 1 over T. Then you have uh, wave Y. What is the frequency and what is the amplitude of wave Y? So let's call this one wave Y. Give it a nice orange hue. Amplitude is bigger, right, for wave Y. Amplitude goes all the way up here for wave Y. So this is wave y's amplitude two times bigger so this should be 2a hmm okay maybe you should go and check the answer ah see all a 2a a 2a so 2a is correct 2a 2a it's not wrong wrong so we can already cancel out a cancel out c left b okay frequency you can kind of make a guess but if you want to know for sure how do we know okay let's find What's the period of wave Y? It's much longer. It goes from here, if I take this reference point, and it ends here. Lower frequency. T is much longer. Longer by two times. So if the T is longer by two times, you can think of it this way. Frequency, 1 over T. Oh, I wrote it on the left side. Okay, let's do that. The new frequency of orange color is going to be 1 over 2t, two times longer period, which means half the frequency of the original. So here I can write it as this, this wave of y is half of 1 over t, which is the original f. So half of the original f. Mm. So best answer here, half f on this side. Okay, so you kind of, if you feel weird how to imagine this, okay, just see this one, low frequency. You see this one? Wow, this is called high frequency, so very high pitch. When you hear it, it's a very high sound. Also because the T is much shorter. Here, your T is much longer. Same idea here, okay? How does uh, force is, sorry, force. Frequency is inversely proportional to time period. Okay, so that's all for this question. Uh, hopefully that's helpful in understanding how to look at waves like this. But that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.